my friends, Linda here. I'm out and about again for a walk in a different place. <laughs> and it's uphill walk here and it just keeps on going. I'm picking dandelions today. Ooh, bluebells. I'm so easily distracted. Bluebells. <laughs> There's so many people around and it, it's kind of scaring me. Uh, yeah, I just, I just can't. So today, oh, bluebells in the background, if you can see. Can you see? Really pretty day. I am picking dandelions because one of my comments said, uh, growing vegetables with beep? She's making dandelion vine. Wine? Wine. 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 <laughs> Not wine. Um, and I want to try it. And it's going to mature for two years. So if I do it this spring, then in two years I'll be able to try it. Try it. I have elderflower wine coming out this summer and it's going to hopefully taste really well. Whew. Let's pick some more. Hiya, I have found one just here, cowslip. So I'm gonna grab two, two, probably two blossoms only from this one, and that's gonna be it. Huh? Oh, okay, I found another thing in here. If you can see this plant here, as I was walking past it on the path, this is sorrel. So the leaves look like this. It looks similar to dock, but the leaves are not bumpy and not no red spots and the ends are green. If you are like unsure that it is sorrel, you could just taste a little bit. And it should taste sour. And it does. Mm, there's um sorrel growing on the side of this path. And I can see another one further up ahead of me. <laughs> I'm just gonna have a bit of a snack time. <sighs> yep, there's another one. Just down there. There you go. And there's a couple more. Oh, there's a dock. Perfect. I can show you the difference. <sighs> so this is a dock leaf. See, it's, it's way bigger and it's kind of crinkly and this is a sorrel leaf. See, it's smooth and don't mind that I have bitten off the tip, <laughs> but shape-wise this one has like two little diff spiky things, it's symmetrical. This one doesn't, so the dock is round on the bottom, sorrel has like two spikes on each side, well one spike on each side of the leaf. On that side of the coast, of the shore, a, every field that we were walking past was fenced off and the gates locked, so you couldn't get in. And there were so many dandelions in there, but I just had to go past. So we're going back and we are gonna try a different footpath and hopefully we will have more success that time. Young Hawthorn, it's edible as well.
leaves and flowers and berries. Everything's edible if you want it. I found some bluebells and they're gorgeous. So what usually happens is people find these places and they trample them and they need to take pictures and stuff. But what I have found here is one with a path going through and it looks like a natural path that animals use and maybe humans as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the path and don't stray from it so that we do not ruin the gorgeous bluebells around us. Yay! We climbed the hill. There are no dandelions here, but the site is gorgeous. And look at that oak. Just so pretty. Yeah, was worth it. I am knackered. We've been walking for about two and a half hours now, and I think we're going back. <laughs> been a good day. I found some bits and bobs everywhere and it's been a great walk. I'm gonna go home and process the dandelions and start brewing some cider. No, no, wait cider, no, wine! I'm gonna start brewing some wine. I'm home today now and I have boiled my dandelions. So there's three liters of dandelions here, well loosely packed and five liters of water and it's been sitting for 24 hours now. Got some splashed in my face. Ah, happens. And I'm just gonna strain them and then put half and half in each of the demijohns. And I already have two liters of water boiling and that's gonna be to top it up each bottle and I'll put like a kilo of sugar in there as well. I'm gonna put 50-50 of the dandelion syrup in each of the demijohns and I have already, seems like I can't do two things at the same time. And I already have water boiling with two liters of water a lemon, beep head ginger, but I do not have ginger on hand, and a kilo of sugar once it's boiling, you just keep adding to it. Almost. I have the last bits left. And then once I'm done with this, That's it. <laughs> Just squeeze it a little bit to get all of it out. Thank you for suggesting trying to make wine because 
I do like to experiment. <laughs> Now to evenly split it between both. I'm making a mess everywhere. We just add the sugar water that has finished boiling. Okay, this is hot. I have strained it because I had lemon like pips swimming around in it. But let's try to fit it all in. There we go, one done. The second one's boiling. And then I just need to add some yeast to this and cap them off. And then we just leave them. Now we just add wine yeast. You can buy these sachets in bulk or singles and I'm gonna add half and half because each of these sachets is basically you can make wine from 5 to 23 liters I think it says yeah so I'm gonna split it and there's 10 liters ish And now we just need to add the airlocks so that no bacteria from outside can get in and potentially ruin it. I forgot to mention that we add batches separately because then we can definitely manage the sugar content in, in the jar, in the demijohn. And sugar is actually the thing that's going to turn into alcohol because the bacteria, the, the yeast, will eat it. And once it's done eating, we will be able to decant it into another one. Because at the moment, it's quite cloudy. It will get less, less cloudy. And there will be a sediment that will just stop at the bottom. I can't wait, my first wine ever is the elderflower wine and apparently it's drinkable as soon as elderflowers bloom. That's in about a month. So my first batch of my homemade mop wine is going to be ready in about a month. We need to put some water in here because then it stops the... it's basically an airlock. The one thing you need to look out for is the evaporation of the water if it evaporates, then the seal's broken. Oops. Poured the water all over it. Okay, that's good enough. And we're done. They should be starting to ferment very, very soon. This is so exciting. I can't tell you how exciting this is. <laughs> Thank you very much for hanging out with me today and I hope you enjoyed me going for a walk and you coming along and picking some dandelions and seeing other plants around that are here. And look at this. It's starting to mix already. It's going down. 
okay and I'll check on them later today okay bye bye have a good one and I hope to see you next time <laughs> bye friends